welcome back to my channel it's on gray here and if you're new to my channel i create content around cooking cleaning and organization i also do a day in the life vlogs and hauls so today's video is a haul i went shopping today and i bought random stuff plus groceries for the house and personal care items so i just want to take you guys through everything that i bought and we will see yeah we will see how much i spent but yeah the economy is a bit um too much it's a bit too much inflation and everything i i just can't imagine how much we're spending so yes yeah, so i hope you guys enjoy this haul and if you do please make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment down below subscribe if you haven't we're on the road to 10,000 subscribers and we are close so close to 8,000 subscribers let's get to 10k i am going to start with the food items and then i'm going to talk about the toiletries and personal care items and then i will finish up with random extras that i bought um, at the supermarket and in other places so yeah so let me organize the stuff and start so before i start on the food items that i bought i got myself a small bunch of flowers i got myself a small bunch of flowers i found a lady selling some uh, roses and i requested her to mix for me some red yellow and white ones so yeah so i got a small bunch just to, you know to feel better and to just feel good about myself so roses it was at least today i didn't buy chocolates today and wine i bought myself flowers i'm trying to buy myself stuff that is not food <laughs> and junk so today's guilty pleasure was flowers so yeah so let's go straight into the food items so today i went to quick mat for some reason i'm, I'm kind of warming up to it it's a bit pricey on some items but it has really nice um food food items their butchery is perfect their butchery has nice cuts and i haven't gotten any any bad meat from them so that's why i go there and to start us off i got this lettuce bundle it has two it has two bulbs inside and let's just say that i haven't been having my greens and i'm trying to eat as healthy as i can well i'm, I'm really trying and greens i struggle with i struggle with. they're not because i don't like them it's just that prepping them and and buying them and then you have to buy them fresh and i don't like leaving the house so again it becomes a bit too much so i got these beautiful bulbs of lettuce it was 159 but which i thought was a good deal because there are two inside so i can make a nice big salad and keep it in the fridge to have with my meat and my rice and my potatoes yeah so some lettuce then i got some jaggery guys do you remember this curry guru or was it ngutu curry guru mm, i think it was curry guru so I, I saw it and this was 120 bob for how many pieces for five pieces and they are big pieces so i just got this to snack on to be honest not because i need them for anything just something sweet to snack on that is you know a bit healthier than chocolate <laughs> so some jaggery well i just spoke about eating healthy and here i am with some fairyland cookies which dear lord jesus christ if someone can save us from this they have done us a good job because these things are expensive this box is 250 shillings but the cookies are delicious so i thought of buying one pack to have with my teas in the afternoon especially now that it's so cold it's so cold my goodness we keep eating so i needed to stock up on a treat kind of you know snack and i got these cookies i got some rosemary i bought this one i wanted to get the fresh ones but they are fresh uh fresh market side didn't have the fresh rosemary so i had to buy the dried ones i love rosemary for my potatoes for my chicken for my tea and yeah and now that i am having tea quite a lot i definitely needed some rosemary then i got some smokies from palmer's choice but from good Mart, yeah, i got some smokies i have kind of fallen out of love with smokies if you followed me for a long time then you know i used to love smokies so much i would buy the big pack and i would finish it in like a week or two but i kind of you know i don't know but i'm trying to you know have something else that's not bacon and sausages and again when it comes to sausages i'm really picky i don't like all of them i just like the beef safari one so i thought of buying the small pack of smokies to just you know mix up my breakfast options this week 
and then I got some milk. I really love this Daima whole milk. It's delicious. It's delicious for spiced tea. I usually add tea leaves and um, some water, tea leaves, milk, rosemary, cinnamon, ginger, cardamom, black pepper. My goodness, that cup of tea will wake up your ancestors. They will wake up. They will wake up because it's so delicious. I bought some tea leaves. Guys, if you followed me for a while and you follow me on Instagram, you guys know I love Eden tea. But I can't find their tea in the supermarket. I didn't find it today. I was even willing to buy the biggest pack I could have found. But yeah, I didn't find their tea today. So I, I'm trying this Faraja Premium Tea. I hope it's nice. I don't know. I'll try. And that's why I bought like the smallest pack available. So that, you know, if I don't like it, then I can just toss it and buy another one. So yeah, some tea. Surprisingly, I've finished the tea they sent me just a few weeks ago because i've been having tea a lot here i have some fresh meat so these are chicken wings and this is beef on bone this is a kg of beef on bone and this is half about 600 grams of chicken wings this for sure i'm going to make with some potatoes and a salad and oh my god i'll enjoy that on friday night or saturday night yeah i'm trying to get myself you know back to cooking regularly so i had to buy that and then this is the beef cubes well i bought it as a charm and had them cut it for me so i'm just going to portion it and freeze for a few meals then still in the snack section i got these nuts i think they are new on the market that's why they have a free gift so these are cashew nuts i got this because i want to bake banana bread i have some bananas i got from home and they are going bad well they are overripe so i need to make something with them maybe some muffins or maybe some banana bread i'll see so i got some cashews to add and then this pack is um a pack of macadamia nuts macadamia nuts and came with a small it came with a small gift so i thought that was a good deal i think this was 124 shillings for the cashew nuts and this was 234 for the macadamia so yeah i love nuts a lot if, if these things were affordable my goodness i would be eating them every day but they are so expensive so expensive then i got my favorite snack of all time popcorn neutral meal popcorn to be specific it's so expensive i think this was like 270 up from something 190 a few months ago but i'm not complaining i really love popcorn and i love this brand's popcorn it's it, it has a nice taste to it and it's so crisp it doesn't pop into a big popcorn like a big popcorn piece but it it's nice it's crisp and crunchy and sweet it has some sugar into it i don't i don't understand again it's important so probably the soil in whatever country this grew has some sugar who knows and then talking about sugar i got sugar for the first time in my entire life living alone i've bought two kgs of sugar i usually just buy one because i rarely take like milk tea that will need me to sugar and i don't i don't and i and i don't make and I don't make things that need me to use sugar often. I don't bake often. I don't make pancakes often. So, and tea, I have a lot of teas that I take without sugar. So, the reason I got the 2kg back today is purely because I love this brand. If you see them and if you know them, tell them to sponsor me because I bought this sugar only because I didn't find their 1kg pack and I love it so much. I just had to buy the 2kg bag. There were other brands and I, I don't know. I just don't like the way their sugar looks like. The granules are weird. They're weird. I love these ones. I love this one. So I had to get Nutramil. So 2kg, it was 249 shillings. Yeah. But at least I'll have sugar for the next like three months. I promise. I won't need to buy sugar anytime soon. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So then I got myself some home baking flour to make some pancakes bake. As I have mentioned, I'm going to be making banana bread. So I needed to stock up on some flour. I have a bit left, but I don't think it will be enough. And again, it's good. It's good to have like a small pack for pancakes and the like. So for sure, I had to get some flour. It was... How much was this? I 
can't remember but it's gone up so high i think it was over 100 bob yeah flower right now is just i i don't even have words to say so last from the food section in quick mart well i still have a few other things but i got some chocolate chips because i like adding peas into my muffins and banana bread so i had to buy some and every time i go there i find uh, I don't find them so when I found them today I was just like okay let me just get these chips because next time I might not find them so that's it from that bag I have three bags next <laughs> next bag has well still on the food section I got the quick mat mandazi I really like them they are called the tuma to my cocktail 55 shillings i think they are mixed up with i don't know i don't know how they make them but they are really delicious and guys right now we have all the reasons to eat anything that we want to eat because the weather ha, no joke so i got some to have with my tea and then i got some chicken wings every time i go to quick mart i must get myself some chicken wings so this is what i'm having for dinner i'll probably maybe make some kachumari and have that and that will be it yeah so i think i've tackled the food section from the supermarket but before i go to the toiletry section that i got from the supermarket let me talk about the food items i bought outside the supermarket and all around town because these things are just picked wherever whenever however <laughs> yeah so cake yeah I know, I know, I'm, 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 I'm doing a bit too much with the eating, but yeah, we, we are, we are trying, we are trying. So balance, balance, guys. See, balance, balance. I bought some broccoli and some mixed bell peppers. I have green ones. I got from home, so I didn't need to buy the fresh green ones. But I needed some broccoli. I've missed broccoli and carrots, spiced with cumin. Ah. I think I'll make that tomorrow. That that will be my dinner tomorrow. Some vegetables and maybe some beef fry. I don't know. I'll, I'll see. But I had to buy this. So a, a bit, you know, of greens here and there. And then I got some dania. This is why, imagine all these were 20 shillings. I think it's because of the rain. So these things are thriving. I bought two bunches. So this will come in handy for everything that I have mentioned I'll cook. Well, apart from the banana bread. <laughs> then I got some potatoes. Waru. Who doesn't like waru? If you don't, then mm -mm. you need you need to change your way. So I got a bag of waru, but I thought it was expensive. This was a hundred bob, but the warus are really nice and they are big. So for my one meal, I will probably just need two or three. So this might last a while. That's it. And then I had to stock up on fruit. I have a few. I have a pineapple. I have a tree tomato. I have some passion fruit and I have some apples left. So I needed to just add some um, oranges. These are the pixie oranges. Oh my goodness, they are so delicious. You, you must try them. If you find pixie oranges, buy them. Well, they are a bit pricey for the size, but you won't regret. So I got like 10 of those and uh six apples i have a few apples left so i should be good to go for the next like two weeks with fruit because i have enough and again i can still buy you know anytime soon so some fruit um i think that's it from the food section so let me deal with now the toiletry section from the supermarket and then i will share with you the extra items i got from all over town <laughs> next i got these cotton balls i've been looking for cotton rounds the rounds flat ones and i haven't been lucky if you know where i can find i know i can find them in carrefour but i'm so far away from carrefour i just needed something to use in the meantime but when one once i access a carrefour I, i'll for sure like buy a lot and miniso miniso has nice ones in carrefour but this for markets of ours huku shago they don't have these uh nice nice cotton rounds that are nicely cut and organized so i had to just buy the balls which we'll do for now i use this to tone my face exfoliate my face um remove makeup all of that so i got those and then i got some clean film i must have this to wrap the dania to wrap all the vegetables that i have clean film is a must and then i got some basalt 
for washing my clothes definitely this should last the next two months or so i have another bag going but i thought it would be nice to just buy this time around because i don't know if the other one will last the month and then i got some serviettes these are tiara i found this brand recently and i, I kind of like it i kind of like it i think it's new it hasn't been around for a while but yeah i think it's nice so some serviettes and then I got some toothpaste. I used Sensodyne. This time around, I got the multi care one. I had the whitening and protect something, but I thought it was a bit harsh on my teeth because I have fluorosis. Do you know what fluorosis is? Like my enamel is wearing out. So I thought that was escalating it. So I had to get something that is a bit mild just to take care of my teeth and try it. my goodness like if there's one thing one thing that i haven't figured out is my teeth like i just need to figure it out but anyway i use this but it helps with sensitivity and um cavities and all of that so it's good and then i got some panty liners i love the cortex uh normal ones the ones that don't have a scent yeah so yeah some panty liners and then i got this ace ace toilet cleaner i really love the scent of this i actually only buy it because of the scent that it leaves it's the citrus fresh so this is for the toilet i can't remember the prices guys i'm sorry then i got some cuddles i didn't find my usual pink one so i got the purple one and it was the only one left and comes with a small topex color bleach which i think will come in handy maybe i don't know so yeah so this was i think 210 or something like that then i got the magni carpet and upholstery shampoo my goodness this thing is magic it's magic and it's subtle and has it has a really nice scent so i add this to water and then use a towel to just wipe my carpet and it cleans it too it cleans it to perfection now that i have a lighter couch if i you know stain it maybe with food or a drink or something this will remove it for sure i have tried and it's working and i have always used it this is what i know for cleaning my carpets and my couch and any soft furnishings so yeah i think this was 210 they have a bigger one for like 380 but i always just buy the small one because i don't need a lot of it anyway then i got myself the tcb natural argan oil for my hair i like that it's light my hair doesn't do well with heavy oils so i had to get like this one and i've used it before and i like it and i love its scent so i can't remember the price but i really like it then i got ariel ariel original i don't like the downy one i don't know why i just like the original one <laughs> and today was on offer it was going for 2.99 instead of like 3.99 which i thought was good and that's why i got the kg one i have some left so this should last about two months now because i only use this for clothes and maybe sometimes when i'm mopping the floors but it should last a long time and then i got these party plates the round party plates because i needed something to place under my pots i got plants and i have like 10 over 10 yeah i have like 10 pots of plants so i needed some party plates to place at the bottom so that once i water them they won't like mess the floor and again the reason i had to get this in the pots that i have is because i don't want to leave the pots open as they are i'm going to get them baskets so i didn't want to invest in like high quality pots yeah i just needed something to work and then i can now put everything inside the basket and the plant can look well it, it can you know have some sort of style stay tuned i'm going to share my plant haul soon and um, how i'm going to style the plants i'm working on something and i will definitely share once i have it all down but yeah these are for my plants not for me to use yeah so that's all from our toiletries and uh, other items that i got from the supermarket so now i went to think twice anytime i'm in town i must pass by think twice because why not i always get something so i went to think twice and today their maximum price was 150 
they are opening new stock on the 18th which is this coming monday so if you live around you know where i live <laughs> you can go and check it out but again they they keep you know updating their customers when they are opening new stock on their instagram page so follow them there think twice kenya you will see all the updates depending on where you live but uh, for me where i live they are opening new stock on the 18th of july so i got this cute 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 throw pillow cover it has a string here but i just need to cut it that's all i don't need to do anything and it's so nice and guys i've been trying to look for beige beige items because i want something that will complement my wood my natural wood style that i have around the house and i just don't want to do like black and white i need something warmer so i had to get this amina is sending me plain beige uh Cover, so it should look really nice with this one i think this is a 17 by 17 throw pillow cover so it should fit the pillows that i have so nice for only 150 bob i got myself a throw pillow cover and then from think twice too i got some tights i got three pairs of tights and that's all i got from there so here's the first pair really nice i these things are like my staples i live in these things working from home and just being home i need something warm and just cute warm but cute yeah so i got some leggings so this is the first pair this is another pair i was so lucky to find two black ones huh two black ones that will fit me that was you know that was a dream i don't know and then i got this navy one they are nice they are they're usually really nice i get all my tights from them including what i'm wearing now yeah they have nice things and then i went to Mathai supermarket if you know that supermarket please don't sleep on it they have really nice stuff especially homeware so i went to their utensil section and i got myself such a beautiful mug look at it it's so cute so so cute and it has m it has my initial m if you don't know my first name is maureen so it has my initial m on this side and on this side and it is so big so i can have this with my tea i can use this for my tea or my soup oh i love it so i had to buy two and there were actually only two m's remaining so i was like this is a sign maureen just take the two m's yeah it comes in white but it has some freckles of i don't know what color this is but it's goldish so it's really really beautiful yeah so got myself some mugs <sighs> i think i'm obsessed with mugs you guys and i always buy them in twos in twos so my two beautiful mugs from my body. and then i bought some panties from them i don't think you guys need to see my panties right yeah but they have really nice panties and they are very affordable and if you're looking for black ones always go there you will find them then i needed a chopping board the plastic kind one i have a wooden one but i want to have a chopping board that is one is designated for the fruits and uh, vegetables and then the other one is designated for the meats only i don't want to be mixing that because now I have, I, have, I have just been cutting my fruits you know using my hands so i had to buy this white one for my fruits and vegetables but the other one i'll now have to leave it for just meat just meat only and if i'm going to use it for vegetables then only vegetables that i will cook if it's raw vegetables like kachumbari and the lettuce and all that i'm going to use this so i hope you do that though i hope you do that don't use the chopping board you're using for your meat for your raw meat to cut your vegetables because again especially if it's wooden because those small tears and wears can harbor the meat so oh, it's just disgusting anyway yeah then i saw this round chopping board that, I, that they had so i i didn't buy this to use as a chopping board i use i bought this to use as deco actually so i have my small station here i don't know if you can see it but if you followed me on instagram you've seen the recent reel i did where i shared uh, my little cooking section with a nice oil jar so i want to use this to you know kind of organize everything like my cooking water my cooking oil 
my uh, cooking sticks holder, a succulent, my salt and pepper, just a nice cute little setup on one corner so that yeah, when I'm cooking, it can be a vibe. That's all. So this was what? This was three, 315 and this was 360. So two chopping boards. I had to get them from there because I know they always have a wide selection of those. Yeah, and that's it. Oh, I have a package from Jumia. In fact, the main reason I went to town today was just to go and collect my packages. Only for me to get there and find that only one had arrived. I bought a tripod. I bought like some skincare items, but they hadn't arrived. So this was the only one that had arrived. And it's a perfume that I saw someone recommend on Instagram. And I was like, okay, maybe I should try it. It's the Michaels michael's bouquet michael's bouquet i have seen people talk about these perfumes on instagram so i was like okay maybe i should try i'm not a perfume person because they make my head hurt and this was on offer i think it's usually like a thousand bob and this time around it was like 500 bob i was like okay maybe let me try if i don't like it i'll give it away yeah it's hard for me to find a perfume that won't hurt my head i don't understand but anyway I'll make more money so that I can afford the designer high-end ones <laughs> that won't hurt my head, yeah. But anyway, I bought this. It's the Michael Bouquet. This is the pearl number one. So I had, I read the reviews and it said it's soft and subtle. So I'm hoping it's that. Yeah. So that's all. That's all from my haul. So I don't even know how much I spent where. But the thing is, I know I spent a lot of money. But at least I have everything I need for the next, at least for the rest of the month. I have enough fruit, I have enough meat, I have some left in the freezer, so I should be okay. I have groceries, toiletries, and essentials. I really needed tides because I don't have enough. And the ones that I had that, you know, kind of were torn, I threw them out. So I needed to like get tides and warm stuff. So yeah, so I think I'm I'm sorted. I'm sorted for the next few weeks yeah so that is all guys this was such a random haul that i hope you have enjoyed and i hope that you have you know like gotten an idea of how my shopping within the month looks like it's not usually the same every month so this was kind of like a stock up because i already have so many other items but still it was quite huge to warrant a whole whole video yeah so thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and if you did please make sure you give it a thumbs up leave me a comment let me know your thoughts on the haul and then um share this video with your friends share this video on your instagram post it on your stories and tag me i will repost yeah yeah so subscribe if you haven't and let's get to 10k thank you guys so much for watching until next time bye